Hey guys, welcome to another video at Phone Ops for the Pocophone F1. In today's video, we're going to check how to install the latest version of Oxygen OS port for this wonderful device. I have found out a way. Now, the installation process is not exactly simple. That is the reason you need to follow this video step by step. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you can join us and support us get to a thousand members. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. let's get going. So first things first, uh, you know, things that we need and a disclaimer. So the first thing that I would highly, highly recommend is you actually go to the Oof Gang's Telegram channel. You subscribe there. You follow what is mentioned there. All right. And after that, if you have any confusion, you can go ahead and watch this video or from scratch, you can watch this video. Big credits to Oof Gang, Amog and all the other people who have really, really made this possible. They are doing an amazing job. So what we need over here now, the thing is you cannot download this ROM to the computer and transfer it to your phone and flash it. It won't work. All right. And there is a different way to do it if you were to do it through PC, but that's a little complicated. So we're just going to skip that part. All right. Now, of course, you need to have backup of your data on your phone because everything is going to be wiped. Make sure your phone has more than 50% battery and you will need a good internet connection because everything all the files have to be downloaded on the phone we are going to download around 3.5 to 4 gigabytes of data so make sure you have a good internet connection now comes the next step what you need to have is a rom that is decrypted and the latest official twrp which is linked in the description now to keep things simple you know let's not care on what rom you are if it is encrypted or decrypted let's do as we do in this video and it will definitely make sure that the new oxygen os port boots just fine for you so what do we have here we have twrp 3.5.1 so go to wipe format data type in yes I hope you guys can see clearly right now we need to go to reboot and select recovery okay now what we need to do is we need to do a factory reset first because we are installing havoc so we need a clean install then go to install my havoc os is in the otg drive you can choose to connect the pen drive or choose to connect the phone to the pc and do it so select storage usb otg hit ok at the bottom havoc os 4.5 swipe to confirm flash now remember we are installing havoc as a temporary thing because there are certain checks that happen when you download this and you have to download the rom and the recovery of oof gang together so there are a lot of clauses involved in order to protect their interest and you know uh, their work not being stolen which is completely fair and fine all i'm trying to tell you here is we'll first boot into havoc os we will download the files then we will continue with the remaining process let's wait for havoc os to finish installing all right now as you can see havoc has been installed so let's go ahead and reboot system the first boot will take anywhere between two to min two to three minutes to get into havoc os and then we will start the process of downloading the files by installing chrome apk all right now because this is a vanilla rom it will you know boot relatively faster which is another good thing it saves us time okay now as you can see we are in havoc and we don't have G apps because this is a vanilla version. So we'll go to files. Okay. And I have kept the Chrome APK in my OTG. Right. As you can see over here. So quickly go ahead and install the Chrome APK. Because this is a stage wherein once the browser is installed, we will go ahead and open it and we will go to the link and download the files. Right. So the first thing that I would like to do here is connect the Wi-Fi because this is a clean flash. So Wi-Fi is not connected. Also remember guys, the build address also changes. The build also changes on playing.com on the download link every six to 12 hours. So if you've downloaded yesterday after two days, you might not be able to flash. 
I might be wrong here but at least that's how I think it is working for them right so we have Google Chrome over here and uh, the link for the download is mentioned in the description so I'm gonna have to manually type the link over here so that's relatively easy that's not a problem so let's go to plingcom because I don't have telegram installed that is the reason I have to do this slash p slash so slash p slash the number is one five three three seven nine nine one five three three seven nine nine okay and then a forward slash and then hash then files and then hyphen panel p a n e l okay let's go all right so we are here okay and you will see that the files are visible over here right there you go so first download the recovery follow link okay download the recovery download has started now download the ROM follow link now sometimes in case you get errors try downloading again there you go so the recovery is downloaded and the ROM download has started okay now there is one more file that we need that is the firmware file right now remember this is the firmware only file this is not firmware plus vendor the file which is 94 MB so for that as well I will manually type the link that's poco vendor dot page dot link poco vendor dot page dot link slash 9 F okay there you go it's taking us to pling again and that's all your firmware files so the first one is what we are looking for there you go now as you can see over here the recovery is already downloaded the vendor is almost done and it's downloading the ROM now because this ROM is 2.5 gigabytes it will take some time to flash so please be patient while that happens all right now as you can see all the files have been downloaded all the three files the firmware the recovery and the ROM so what we need to do next is we need to boot into TWRP okay so we will restart press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the POCO logo okay it should boot into TWRP right away there you go now important part over here to make sure is you are not encrypted because if you are encrypted then everything is a mess because then it will not work the install process so the first thing that you will do over here is you will go to download because that's where your files are you will install the recovery zip now this will automatically boot you into TWRP within 10 seconds so let's wait for it to boot to TWRP recovery v8 which is mandatory to flash this ROM okay now that we have rebooted into TWRP remember we had Havoc installed so we will first go to wipe and we will do a wipe data factory reset okay remember not to wipe the internal storage because that is where your files are so now go to install go to download and first flash the firmware okay now the advantage of this setup is you saw that we did everything step by step and nothing got encrypted now go to install again and this time flash the ROM okay now no errors and no warnings it is installing just fine now there is one more thing that is the safety net fix in case you're not going to root and you want safety net to be fixed there is a zip linked in the description you can go ahead and download it flash it after having the first successful boot flash it from TWRP and you should be good to go let's wait for this ROM to install and then we will do the remaining steps okay now as you can see the installation is complete so go to wipe format data type in yes
okay now reboot system now the first boot will take anywhere between one to two minutes so please be patient while that happens all right now as you can see over here we are on the setup screen i cannot adjust the brightness so please adjust now we will quickly skip the setup menu but what we are already celebrating is that the successful flash has been achieved and we are able to you know set up the phone and do everything else now as i said earlier in case you want safety net to be fixed you can go ahead and uh, after setting your phone up like this you can actually go ahead and uh, you can flash that particular zip we just have some guidelines over here for the gesture modes of oneplus i'll show you something very interesting so i am going to switch my sim cards into this phone and i'm going to use this as a daily driver hopefully tomorrow or day after you will have a review on this rom and we will be streaming with this rom as well so let's actually adjust the brightness a little bit that should look better so the quirky part over here if you go to about it says the name of the phone Oh, it says one plus seven, but somewhere I had seen a Poco plus seven, but that's okay, right? That's okay. It's very, very smooth. It doesn't feel like a 60 Hertz display. It feels very, very smooth just because of the OS. So as you can see, this is an easy and quick way of installing Oxygen OS latest build on your Poco phone F1. Let me know what do you think about this video until the next one. This is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.